Hello, happy Monday. I am currently packing an order from the Etsy and then I will be walking to the post office, not the post office, the post box to deliver it. We're going to have a little like week in the life of Got quite a busy week this week. Today's plan is um, tidying the craft room because as you'll see it is absolutely a mess at the moment. It just gets like this ever so often and it's always really good to have a really good clean of your space and now I know I'll be free to kind of you know do my my jobs and won't be so like looking out the corner of my eye at like the floor but there is no room on the floor or areas I can't get to. But I'll show you what you get in an order now because it's it's changed. What Hannah is ordering is they're getting an autistic pin and then they are also getting the autistic sticker. So that's their order. In the package as well, they'll get a business card, little cute square business card, always handy to give out in case they don't know what I do online. They'll get a free print of my Loveland frog. That is from Cryptid Tuesdays. That was that was the first one I made and I think it's still my favourite because it's beautiful. And then they'll get a free sticker of a frog being a skater boy. So beautiful. And at the moment because it's Halloween season i have these washi tapes to show you actually where you can see and i do the pink boxes up in these washi tapes um so it's a little bit more cool i need to get a christmas version so that when it's december we can do that as well out my room um it's going well so far this side of the room is already done um let me show you so this is like the junk crub cupboard i feel like most people have a junk cupboard it's where like wrapping paper goes i've got my sewing machine empty boxes sewing kit um all the stuff for making hats um you can see at the top here is uh my wool so like you can see wool um that's in a packet all the way down in those boxes is wool. I have so much wool for the hat. I definitely overbought. So if you want a particular color, I probably have it for a hat. Um, but I'm not too worried because I do like crochet and stuff like that. So I'll use it in the future. Um, but yeah, so I'm currently working through the stuff on the floor. You can kind of see a lot of it behind me. A lot of the stuff behind me is wedding stuff. Um, and then I have like... Um, Halloween and just stuff that needs to go away because I haven't been able to get to these drawers for a while and I need to sort like that out because a lot of my stock goes in there. I've probably had this box over a year. It's a really nice box. It's like round and stuff and my sister gave it to me because she had it from when my grand passed away. So it's like looks like this and it's just been sat in my thing and for ages I've not been able to, well I've just not had the time my personal life to have a look through it and my sister gave it to me because I started doing punch needle uh, which is what I do for my hats and I really enjoy punch needle it's really good fun I knew it was my grand's um, stuff but so my grand passed away probably about seven years ago she was 98 a typical old lady she loved crafting she crocheted um, did a lot of stuff and apparently she did punch needle but she's got this kit here and it's got all these colors like look so my punch needle I use like wool so it's thicker thread but I found this kit what is that it's a pheasant it's like a pheasant piece and she started it and I, I don't know how to feel like she did this little bit here 
and it's just I don't know like I, like I don't so I'll be honest with you I can't really cry because of my tablets they like if I'm off tablets I I cry a lot but I can feel myself like choking up a bit but I don't really cry with these tablets but like there's like a whole kit in here as well um I think this is more patterns so a lot of her stuff is it's gonna be so old like you can tell like this is from oh god I don't even know like 70s like a lot of us like look at that like old old stuff I don't know like it's just so nice um to have handy downs from her she was um a farmer very she just I don't know like very just she didn't get new technology and stuff like that you know like she was not like she would have been over 100 now and so I got embroidery but that'll be definitely on one of my projects to do is finish this god she did it so neatly mine are never that neat oh my lord she'll be judging me she'll be like oh my god lily or lillian she never ever called me lily lillian <gasps> she had that in her house she must have completed it and had it in her house oh, it's just bringing back so many memories how pretty is that if you like embroidered it that's so pretty oh my god what is this this looks like is it christmas or is it a baby because it's got all of I think it's oh it's so cute it's got like the alphabet on maybe this is just a design of her and with oh thank you granny Good morning, so it's it's late morning now, it's nearly like 2012. I wanted to go through what I do in the morning because yeah, it will give you a good insight of like my mental state. So in the morning I find it extremely hard to like wake up, like I'm very very drowsy. Some mornings I feel like I've been like punched in the face, like very sort of groggy. And like my memory and stuff is really bad. I'm putting on um, this stuff and it helps like blackheads. So it like makes my face shiny, but it's like a, a serum that kind of helps reduce pores, I guess. Because I have a lot on my nose and my chin. So I just put it on my face. And also I've got a new bee. Um, no stud, which is really cute. I got that yesterday. So what I do is I wake up and then in bed I will have a like mini breakfast thing and take my tablets and then I like allow myself like an hour for the tablets to kind of kick in because I'm so groggy. Like I can't do anything. I can't explain anything. I find it extremely hard to kind of get through. It's very like confusing to sort of explain. It's I'm finding at the moment like a lot of my symptoms like I go to the doctor and I can't really explain it but I guess groggy is sort of the best sort of thing um and just like waking up so I allow myself to do that and then I get started the day a little bit later on definitely been difficult I think this is one of those things that like my mental health I need to kind of learn that that is a difficult part of it and that is okay um I just need to get that into my head like <laughs> that it's okay not to be okay because I feel like we say this a lot but actually believing it is very hard um I know I'm not like the only one I also have this weird bit of eczema on my like for like I get eczema on my face um but not really on my forehead and it's just there just a random bit of eczema so just put some cream on there see if it'll go away 
I'm quite lucky it's not too bad. Normally it's around my nose. Like if you see my red bits here, that's like scarring from eczema. And then I get ready because it's always good, especially when you're like working from home to sort of get ready in the day, um, change your clothes so you're not just like in that mood. Some days I give myself a day to be in my pajamas. Um, it kind of depends. I think it's good to allow yourself to be able to do that, but I do think for productivity, it's very good to like, you know, and for me, where I find it hard in the morning, once I've allowed myself that time for the, the drugs to kick in, um, then I get up and like open the curtains and get started, could be like small jobs and then by that time I kind of kicked into place and it also depends on like sleep last night let's get on with the day then Let me have a quick... Oh, uh, where's my phone? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm still filming. Having to take a mental health day today. Um, I'm just been feeling really low and not great. And my head is, like, not really thinking. I wanted to stream and do a course today, but haven't been able to watching who killed jill dando and this cutie is looking after me making sure i'm all warm but i do want chocolate and crisps and you won't let me get up will you also want to draw but i can't do it while you're on my lap eros Look at this really cute order I got from Mossy Pine. They are a good friend of mine. They stream and they have this amazing Etsy shop and Patreon. So definitely check them out because look how cute their art style is. And I'm going to be putting this on my Cricut. And I love them so much. And I was there when they created that. And um, they're, they're incredible. So definitely... Go check them out because look, oh, I love it. Oh, hello, I'm so sorry I look like a mess. You'll find out why. <laughs> so I plan to stream all of this week and it kind of went down the drain. As you can see on Wednesday, I had a really bad um, mental health day, but I want to, I want to keep this stuff in because it is the reality um of my life and a lot of people's lives yeah i had a really bad mental health day um my self-esteem is already really bad and then if anything or anything like someone kind of confirms that or you know sort of um feeds into that um by bringing me down like it's already like here at the like no level of like i'm already like you know, thinking the worst, and then if someone makes a comment or something, I'm like, mm. and I'm like, I'm worthless, uh, and stuff like that. So I am working through that. On Thursday, I went on a really nice dog walk with my mum, and I was really like planning on filming the dogs having a run, but I totally forgot. I remember driving home, being like, God damn it, I forgot to film. Um, but we had a really deep conversation, obviously, about the sort of self-esteem problems because she didn't really know the extent of it. It's just really good to go on a walk and get yourself out and get some fresh air. And especially with someone who is um, like my mum, for me, is a really big support. And then, obviously, I wasn't going to film this later on anyway, but I had therapy um, Thursday. It was really good. I had a lot of talk about the self-esteem problems because that's kind of my main problem at the moment. Then yesterday, which is Friday, I got up and I felt very unwell. And the problem with me, and I don't know if other people with anxiety get this as well, when you're unwell, sometimes it's hard to tell, like, I'm like, is this an anxiety problem that I'm gonna, hopefully, you know, obviously everyone's different their anxieties, 
get over in and once I'm there I'll calm down or is it actually a body problem um, so I, I got into the craft coop and I soon realized I was like nope this is I've caught something and I'm not well yesterday was a sick day and I was really annoyed at that because I was really looking forward to going into the craft coop while I'm here I also want to update you guys on some stuff I've given up my retail job which is huge so over the summer I was off with my anxiety problems I just couldn't cope I couldn't cope anymore a lot of it was this year has been really tough for me I was putting a lot of work into but I was so exhausted from also doing my retail job and it got to the point where everyone was just like it's time it's time for you to basically take that loss in earnings but put the time into this business this adventure so that's what I'm doing it's pretty huge and scary there are definitely days where I wake up and I'm like what the hell have I done but I think that's just self-doubt um, which I really need to overcome and I'm excited for what is going to come because I'm going to do an art fair soon we're going to do a Christmas market and we've got new products coming out and I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited for everything, everything to come. So, yum. So I've got like my nice little lights, got a Lavender Town video on. Got my little baby all cuddled up with my crochet. Still working on the butt circle, but we're near the end now. We've got the sleeves. And then, I don't know if you'll be able to see her she's in here hello Mabels are you huffy today are you gonna come out and say hello because I know